Welcome to this video. In this video, we will understand about product mix. We will specifically understand what is the meaning of product mix. We will understand what is a product line. That will help us in understanding what are the elements of product mix. We will learn this with recent examples of three companies in diverse industries. One is Philips. Philips is in different industries. The second one is Nestle, which is predominantly in the food category. Third one is Procter & Gamble. Product mix is the total set of brands that are marketed by a company. For example, Philips offers products for sound and vision, personal care, mother and child care, household products, lighting, automotive and accessories. As you can see here, there are different types of products that Philips offers. These products may be similar to each other, they may not be similar to each other. Okay, but to understand it further, we also need to understand the concept of product line. Product line is a group of brands that are closely related in terms of functions and benefits. In the last slide, we saw that there is a sound and vision product category. Okay, let us just revisit that slide once again. So here, all these terms which are sound and vision, personal care, mother and child care, household products, lighting, automotive and accessories. These are all different product categories. Within these product categories, there are different kinds of products which Philips offers. Okay, so those products which are closely related in terms of their functions and the benefits that they provide to the consumer, those are called as product line. So within its sound and vision product category, Philips has one product line of audio. Okay, which means within this product category of sound and vision, there are some other product lines also that Philips manufactures. Okay, but we are considering only one product line here in this particular example. This particular product line is audio. Within this product line, Philips offers products like home audio, home theater, headphones, and portable audio. So these are the four different kinds of products within one product line. And as you can see, these different products are quite similar. These are related in terms of functions and the benefits that they provide to consumers. So that is why all of these four products are clubbed together within this product line called as audio. Now let's understand what are the elements of product mix. Within product mix we have width of the product mix. We need to understand. We have length, we have depth, and the consistency of product lines. Width means total number of all product lines that a company has. Which means that all those products which are closely related, we will put them into one product line. And how many such product lines does a company has? So that number of product lines is called as width of the product mix. Next element of product mix is length. Length pertains to a particular product line. Length means total number of items in a product line or total number of items for the whole product mix. That's called as the length. Generally we refer to this length as length of one product line. Okay, but yes, sometimes on an aggregate basis also we can say 
what is the length of the product max. F is the variance of each product. This means if I have one particular product, then how many stock keeping units do I have? We will discuss this with different examples. So don't worry. In a while, we will understand it with that particular example. Consistency means how closely related are these product lines in the end use, which means for a consumer, how closely related are the benefits of different products in these different product lines? Let us consider an example. This example is about Nestle. Nestle has different types of products. Okay. And Nestle categorizes these products into six different product lines. Okay. As you can see, these six different product lines are beverages, breakfast cereals, chocolates and confectionery, milk products, foods and nutrition. Within beverages, Nestle has five different kinds of products. Within breakfast cereals, again Nestle has five different types of breakfast cereals. Within chocolates and confectionery, again Nestle has number of different products. And note that all of these products are similar in terms of end use. Similarly, within milk products, again Nestle has some similar products. In terms of foods, Nestle has certain other products. And in the product line of nutrition, again Nestle has two types of products. Now, let us understand elements of product mix using this example. The width of the product mix is total number of product lines which is 6. As we have seen, there are 6 different kinds of product lines. And if we count all the different products, in all the product lines, okay, then we can see that the total number of items was 45. Okay. Now, for calculating the depth, as you might have noticed, that the data for different kinds of variants of each product was not given. So this means to understand depth of each product, we need more details. We will understand this in a while in another example. Regarding the consistency, the consistency of the product mix is quite high because all of them are food items which are ready to consume or they are used in kitchen. Now to understand the depth of product line, we will take another example. This example is of Procter and Gamble. Procter and Gamble has different product lines and within these product lines we are considering only one product line which is personal health care. Within personal health care, Procter and Gamble offers one brand which is called as VIX, but this is offered in terms of different kinds of products. So, if we see here, we have seven different kinds of products within this personal health care product line. This particular product which is VIX Action 500 Extra, it is offered in two variants. Similarly, VIX Action 500 Advanced is also offered in two variants. VIX inhaler is also offered in two variants. VIX vapor is actually offered in five different kinds of variants. VIX cough drops is also offered in five different kinds of variants. VIX 3 in 1 lozenges, this product is offered in two variants. And VIX baby rub, this is offered in two variants. So if we just add all of these variants, we will understand the depth of this particular product line. Or if we want to look at every product, then for this product, 
the depth is 2 for this product depth is 2 this product depth is 2 for this product depth is 5 5 here similarly for these two products the depth is 2 okay this is how we actually calculate the depth of the product line so in summary we have understood what is product mix product mix is all the products which are marketed by a company then product line product line is group of brands that are similar in functions and benefits to the consumer there are four elements of product mix first is width which means number of product lines length which means number of products in a product line depth which is number of variants of a product and consistency which means how closely related are product lines within the product mix i hope your understanding of product mix has increased with this video thanks for watching this video have a good day